Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to another episode over here at Holami. So today, as you can see from behind, we have this statue of Pompeii. So that means we are traveling all the way to the world of pastries, France, Paris, all that. The world of pastry land and learning more about it. And we have a guest, so I'm not here alone today. So welcome to our guest. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm the yes. guest. <laughs> she can introduce herself and what she does. Hi guys, my name is Anne, uh, but first of all, thank you so much Stacey for having me here, it's a pleasure and I look forward to, to going with you in the land of baking and pastry. My name is Anne from Cake Time, as you can see, yeah, this is Cake Time, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave the handle below, somewhere on the screen, up for Timmy. Yeah, so maybe before we start, before we go to the pastry world <laughs> and feel hungry, maybe Anne can tell us a bit more about herself and how she landed into this pastry world. So Anne, maybe you can tell us a bit about yourself, what motivated you to start and where you came from before now you joined this world of baking. Um, I came from the corporate world. I used to do office jobs, but I, I always felt I needed I needed a a job I can do with my hands. A job, maybe we can call it a skill job, and that's how I I can bake because I was once employed in a cake shop as a delivery person, and I really loved what they were doing and. After I left the shop, I went and tried to do baking on my own. I tried recipes at home and finally I managed to do baking on my own without going to any school or anything, just YouTube, watching videos and all that. But in the meantime, I go for training once in a while just to better myself. Ah, nice. So you have had, she was once in corporate, then she left and found herself doing deliveries in a cake uh, shop and from there then she actually got the passion to do baking. So maybe Anne you can tell us what were the challenges because you have said you've learned through the, the famous school of YouTube, Google and recipes so maybe you can tell us what are some of the challenges you experienced mm -hmm. at that time without having someone to date you. Uh, the main issue about uh, learning through YouTube is everything you do is guesswork. You're not sure of what you're doing and you end up buying so much. Sometimes the recipes burn because you're not sure, but it's through trying you get perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So you've had a take you just keep on baking because it's part of learning from the school of YouTube. Yeah, but it's also, as she has said, you need to keep on doing training uh, to learn more and better your skills. So maybe yeah. you have mentioned that you could buy more than what is needed. So maybe you can share in terms of how are you able to manage the cost mm -hmm. versus the fact that you are now not working or getting an annual salary. Mm -hmm. And now you are testing all these recipes and not yet getting clients. Um, at that point, I used to survive on my saving and sometimes they ran out to survive by the grace of God. And definitely my family, my family came through. That one I can't, I can't forget about them. It's called the journey of an entrepreneur. It's never easy. So we'll first see what she does on a day-to-day -day basis before we can continue to learn more about what you need to do or how to get started. So for now, let's see what she does. On a day-to-day -day basis, when she receives an order, and how she goes about the whole process of baking. So take us through. After receiving a cake order, what I usually do, I write the cake order for record keeping because business always you have to keep your records because at some point you may you may need to go back to previous previous history of the business so that you can track your progress. For instance, today we are making this order here, as you can see, it's a 2 kg vanilla cake, so that's what we'll be doing together with you guys. The first step is usually measuring all your ingredients and, make, and aligning them on, on the table or on the countertop so that you don't have to start, when you start baking, you will have to pick this, you have to pick this, always ensure everything is is weighed and it's on the countertop so you just pick and put in your mix start with our margarine this is uh this is 380 grams for 2 kg we put it in our mixer
the next step we're going to be adding our sugar this is 400 grams of sugar and then we give it a we're going to give it a mix see the butter is smooth and silky and so fluffy so at this point we are going to be adding our, our vanilla essence we are going to use this spoon one of three add our flour this is 700 grams of all of self glazing flour if you're using self glazing don't add baking powder then our meal 500 ml and then you to make sure you you don't waste any amount of butter for your clients it's now ready you are now going to transfer you're now going to transfer to our baking tins which we have already greased uh, transferring the butter on the baking tin we're going to be measuring the butter so that you're going to have equal Yes, we are using this weighing scale to measure the butter. You just put the, you put your baking tin to turn to zero. Then you begin to share to share the the butter equally as you want it. For this case, I want each tin to have 800 grams. Uh, it, I want it to have 700 grams. So seven times three is 2100 enough to have a TKTK. Um, now after transferring the butter you smoothen the top so that the you can have a flat top of the cake like this using a, mm -hmm. a spoon like this before we start preparing our ingredients, we are now going to preheat our oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Yeah, and then we have it. We are now going to put our flour in the preheated oven for 40 minutes and we will be back with the results. And our guest Stacy will taste the cakes and give us a review. Thank you. We're now going to put the cakes in the oven. <laughs> uh, finally, our cakes are ready now and we'll be keeping them in the fridge to allow them to cool and we do the final de decorations. I'll be sharing with you the final the final product of the cake we have baked together so as you've seen she's done with the actual baking so she's going to decorate later on i'm going to show a picture of the final product over here we won't do the decoration today maybe as we conclude maybe we can ask her some of the highlights and challenges you've faced so far um the highlight of 
of baking is you get to experience so many things create magic with your own hands yeah that is the highlight of my baking journey the, the main challenge is sometimes customer will really complain just to make sure they get an extra cake maybe they want a refund yeah that is mostly the main challenge and maybe your greatest achievement so far my greatest achievement journey has been seeing my my growth from buying small small things to buying major things like recently i have this purchase of a mixer to bake as they know this is a great achievement my other achievement is uh, when i was quitting a job my job i was really looking for a job i back then i, I didn't know the value of money in time money versus time so i was just looking for a job i could at least earn twenty thousand coming to baking i can make the twenty thousand stay at home and still have more time to myself compared to when i could be employed to eight to five and the twenty thousand and have to work the whole day but no no bad no not saying employment is bad this just worked for me so if you're employed keep pushing Okay, and maybe as a final remark to anyone who's maybe interested to start baking, maybe what can you tell them uh, as an inspiration on how to start and maybe how to get clients and also how to build their, their brand as a baker? Okay, if you want to get so many clients on, 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 on baking, definitely the market is the market is flooded that is one thing for sure but what i can say invest in your marketing market 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 invest on the the highest amount of profits should go to the marketing and branding of the of, of the of the of your company make sure you're giving the marketing the um, the most amount of money pay for facebook advertisement get an influencer sometimes here and there said PR packages to people who are known so that they can put your 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 name out there and of course make your prices a, a bit reasonable and come up with a way that a catchy way of getting more clients yeah. okay yeah so if you're planning to start the baking business You've had the tips that she shared today with us. So thank you so much. We look forward to another episode where she'll yeah. now be decorating and showing us how to decorate. So if you've tuned in till now, I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit about what happens behind the uh, behind the scenes of any baker before you receive that beautiful cake. As we've seen, there's a final product uh, to you. So thank you so much. Till next time, remember to subscribe.